Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name is Buddy Blackford and this is another Photoshop C6 tutorial. Today we're gonna learn about the uh, Posterize Adjustment Layer and what that does is it creates a simpler image by reducing the number of colors. It's uh, useful for creating an image uh, to get a, like a clip art kind of look or reducing the number of colors in preparation for output to web. So when you're using or one of the trends right now is pixelation, especially in like video games, pixelated and a low poly is something and um, simplistic design is kind of trending right now. So using Posturize, if, we, if you can figure out how to use it correctly and use it to your advantage, it could help you create some cool like retro designs maybe or simplistic designs. So let's go ahead and just add Posturize to an image. So I'm going to add it to my regular image here and show you what happens. So image, oh, let me select the right layer. Make sure it's on as well. Image, adjustments, and then let's go to Posturize, which is right here. And this is what it does. It lowers the amount of colors. So there's four levels of color here. And if I move it up, it gets more color brought back into it. And here's 255. So uh, that's what happens with this and here's two so this is just the basic this is as low as you can go alright alright so the next thing that I want to show you is how to make like a grayscale vector art style um, image using the posturize effect so go ahead and cut your person out of the background like this and I use the magnetic lasso tool which is this one here just went around them and then I use the quick selection tool to add or subtract anything that I missed and then I refine the edge using the um, select and then I went to refine uh, I went to modify and then refine edge alright so let's go ahead and start so what we're gonna do first is we're going to duplicate duplicate the layer so I'm going to duplicate this twice and I'm just going to name one bottom and this one's going to be named top and I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my other layer here I don't need that I'm just using I'm just keeping it so I can save it in case I screw up on anything so the first thing we want to do is we're going to make these grayscale so let's change let's add the black and white filter to these so image adjustment uh, black and white and just hit OK use the the default image adjustment black and white right here <clears throat> alright so now both of these are black and white now we're gonna go ahead and start adding our posturize to these so we're gonna um, adjust this one here at the top one image adjustment and then posturize and you can we're gonna leave it at four for the levels and we're going to hit OK. Let's take the take the visibility off, and so we can only see the bottom one. So image adjustment, posturize, and this one's going to be at either two or three. So go ahead and check out which ones you like better. There's two, and then here's three. Now it looks like I like two better, so I'm going to pick two because. Now basically the facial features are just defined in it. So I'll hit OK. So then we've got this image looking thing right here. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, add a filter to these. It's gonna be the cutout filter and it's gonna make it look a little more vectory and stuff like that. So let's go to the top one. Let's go to uh, filter and then we're gonna go to filter gallery. What we're going to select is in the artistic um, folder and it's going to be called cutout. So hit that and we'll go ahead and select that and hit OK. And then we're going to apply the same exact thing to the bottom layer. So if we go to filter and then the top thing is uh, the top selection is the one we just used. So click on that and it'll do the same thing to that one too. So this is what they look like. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the top layer to opacity of 60%. So the other one shows through. So this is what we got showing through now. 
And the next thing that we want to do is let's uh, add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And we're just going to crank the brightness up. And uh, that's probably, yeah, we'll, tr we'll crank it up all the way. And uh, that's what that looks like. We've got our white background here. And now we've got some abstract vector art going on there. So there we go. Now I think it looks a little better to me since there's so much white with a black um, background here. So I'm just going to change that background to black. And now I like the way it looks even better. So here's your different, or uh, here's your vector art looking uh, simplified looking image. It's grayscale and um, I, I personally think it looks pretty cool. So hopefully you guys can put it to good use. This is the posturize adjustment layer and it's just layered and added some uh, couple filters to it to make it look a lot cooler. So thanks for watching this everybody and I hope you guys have a good day and can put this to good use and check out the forums, the Photoshop forum at, at the buckysroom.org forum page. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one.